Okay, so what we're going to do here today is set up the Zactimate V button for use with Mika software. Uh, when it's correctly set up and, and applied, we will be able to pull in floor plan data, your sketch, line items, and pictures. This basically just to avoid double entry. Okay, so here I'm starting with a bone stock uh, working copy of Zactimate 28, and I'm at the control center. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and go to Preferences. Then I want to go down to Third Party Tools. And you'll notice up here that I'm under an insurance company. I'll need to change it. I want to go to Carrier. Okay. So up at the top, you'll see that the settings are for, for Profile, Carrier, and then a specific human user. It could be anything. Just as long as it, it doesn't say something generic like all users or new users. Okay. Now, so again, third-party tools down here. And I see that Mika is right here in the list, so I want to show it in the list. And uh, I'll auto-create image folder. And I'll also use this drop-down. And what I want to do is I want to say Mika Web for this access code here. 06. So I've got the access code, I've got the location code, I've checked my boxes, I'm good. Again, I want to set up the carrier profile because the V button will always work for the carrier profile. So then what I want to do is I want to go over to projects. All right, what I can do is I want to set up a generic project for this purpose. I'll come over here and I'll create a new project. And I'll create it under the profile of carrier. Okay, that's important because that's going to go along with the V button I've just set up. And I hit OK. I'm going to give it just a simple name, loss, and then, you know, and uh, a last name. Like that. That's all I need. Just something very temporary and working. The, mo the other important thing that I want to do is I want to apply a price list. Because when I go to use the V button to pull the information in from the Mika Cloud, it's not going to stick in this in this shell here, in this project, unless my price list has been applied. I'll go here to parameters. I'll come here to price list. I can use my smart list right here and go all the way to the bottom and choose July and hit OK. We'll use 10%. Okay, there it is, 10%. I will save and exit. I double click it. Now, if you'll notice up at the top, I have a V button up here, V for vendor. So I click that, and now I can expand this drop down, and it's asking for a Mika loss ID. Well, I just happen to have Mika pulled up over here in the cloud. What's important is that I've actually worked the claim and exported it from my, from my application, whether it be from my iPad, uh, from my Android application, or from my Windows application. You must export it to the cloud. The V button is going to walk over to Mika, grab the data you've asked for from the cloud. So if you haven't shared it yet, it's going to pull nothing but air. You don't want to do that. So now I can come up here and it says, how to send to Xactimate? Well, I can click this and it's going to give me a pop-up. and It's going to tell me what my Mika loss ID is right here. This screen should look familiar in Xactimate. It's a screenshot, but it happens to have this useful piece of information, which I can copy just like that. And then I can come over to my Xactimate window and then paste it. And then I'll hit send. Now what that's done is it's loaded it. I'll just save and exit. What this has done is now uh, what I can do is if I go to my outbox, you will see that down at the bottom here, my test right here for carrier. So I'll just hit connect. This is important. I must hit connect. It has to leave the outbox and go over to our servers. So I'll hit connect, there it goes, it's getting, getting ready to disappear. Okay, and just about done processing, there it goes. 
Now, it's not in my inbox yet. I have to wait. And you'll wait for about 10 minutes. Go get a cup of coffee. Come back. You're good to go. Okay, we are going to hit the connect button here. Just get into the sketch portion. That's it. Now what I can do uh, is I can copy this. And you can go into your other project. Here we are in the new project. And we can find the one we want to put it into. Sketch, right click paste, that's it.